Hi, I'm Tristan from the Kite Surf Centre and today we are going to be reviewing the brand new Evo SLS from Duotone, the Strong Light Superior Construction. So let's get it, get, get it out of the bag and get it pumped up. So here it is, the Duotone Evo SLS 2022. Um, last year, the or for the last three or four years, the Evo has been the most popular kite on the market. Um, and when the Evo SLS came out last year, it overtook the standard one as being our best seller, uh, which was a little bit surprising, um, but there's several reasons why. Uh, the Evo SLS is a really good performance all-rounder. Um, it's aimed at almost any rider so we could we could put it in the kite school and we could probably teach someone who's never flown an LEI before um, or it can be used in the very upper competitions for the king of the air um, or even on the freestyle tour so it really is a, a very very good all-rounder um, the main features for this kite um, over a standard model is the material it's made of so it has the Penta TX and the Trinity TX materials used on the leading edge and the canopy so these are 15% lighter than the standard model um, we've sort of weighed a lot of the kites back to back and we found that it's quite a bit lighter than some of the other brands on the market um, so the 12 meter um, com in comparison to other kites is around about half a kilo lighter um, which is quite a lot for a kite that only weighs two and a half kilos. Percentage-wise, it's, it's pretty significant. The main features on the kite compared to standard models or other kites on the market uh, are the bridles. So we have completely pulley-free bridles, which gives a much more direct feel when you're flying the kite. So it's a lot more responsive and you get a lot more feedback through the bar. Having a pulley system often uh, gives a bit of a sluggish feel and you don't get a lot of a lot of sort of like connected feel so it's a lot easier to feel where the kite is in the sky without having to watch it the whole time um, the canopy battens on the kite keep the training edge tight there's a lot less flutter um, especially when the kite's a little bit depowered the Evo SLS has different tuning options on the wing tip so you can set it up to fly in your preferred way. Um, this means that it just gives it a little bit more versatility. So it can be aimed at big air, or you can make it into a slightly softer kite that's better at drifting, um, which is going to be better for, uh, for wave riding. Um, it comes in a setup, standard four line setup, but you can attach the fifth line to the nose of the kite. So if you're still flying on a four, on a five line setup, as some of the slightly older Jotone or North kites use, then you don't need to completely change it around. Or if you just like the feel of a five line kite with that um, extra support through the centre of the leading edge. Um, and the flex struts. So all of the models have the flex struts, which gives it a little bit more um, structural integrity. Um, and it allows the kite to keep its shape slightly better throughout the turn. Um, what we're going to go through is the changes. So the main differences between the 2020, 2021 and the 2022 model. Um, on paper, it doesn't look like there's any sort of major changes. But when we've got it out of the bag and had a look at it, you can instantly see that there are some quite major changes in the shape of the kite and how it will then affect its performance. Um, so the, the first one is the geometry to the bridles. So these have been tweaked slightly um, to allow the midsection of the kite to be a little bit flatter. Um, the main reason for this is that it will give the kite slightly better low end. Not that the low end was not very good before, but it will be improved. Um, and that that middle section is the bit that creates all the lift. So it's going to give it a uh, slightly better lift and better hang time. So that midsection is a bit that's catching the wind, it's the bit that creates the power. The, 
the change in the geometry of the bridles has also affected how the kite turns. So it's a little bit snappy, a little bit more aggressive. And when you see the kite move around the sky, it's got a slightly smoother arc. So overall, um, a really good improvement. The 2022 model has a slightly scalloped trailing edge. So as soon as we got the kite out of the bag, we could see that it is a little bit higher aspect than, than last year's. And you can see it on the bottom here, just cuts in ever so slightly. Um, this will give it better lift, better hang time. Um, it'll make it a little bit more efficient, so it'll be faster through the sky, which will help with its low end performance, and it'll also be better at getting up wind. Um, from our early testing, it hasn't really affected how user friendly the kite is. So often higher aspect kites are more difficult and unstable to use. This is still very, very stable. Um, the middle strut has got slightly better support down the back. So it's got, got not what I would call a batten, but um, thicker Penta TX material, which will give it um, a little bit more support, keep it slightly more rigid, especially in the smaller sizes when you're out in really strong, gusty winds. Um, so, yeah, ch ch trying the kites back to back, there will be quite a noticeable difference, um, especially in the smaller sizes, I think, uh, along with the better low end of the bigger sizes. Last year's kite was absolutely brilliant, so it's, it's no surprise that there's not been any sort of major design changes. When we tried these back to back last year, we really noticed that they, they just hang at 12 o'clock a lot better. So when you're underpowered or you need, or you're using a sort of a, a bigger kite in very light wind conditions, it just stays in the sky. You're not getting any sort of front stall or back stall, it's just very, very stable. Um, in the smaller sizes, you notice it much more with the kite coming up. So when you're doing a big jump or you're doing a kite loop, it really climbs up out the window really, really well, um, which is why they're such popular kites. We were a little bit concerned about the durability when it first came out, because it's a totally different material, um, which is lighter, um, the bladders are slightly lighter as well, they're thinner, um, to make its overall weight lighter. Um, we weren't sure how they were going to hold up, but I don't think we had a single warranty claim on these kites last year. Um, and durability, I would say, is actually better than your standard Dacron, so that's really good. Now they've, they've been out for sort of 14 or 16 months, they've had enough use to show that they are actually really, really well made. Um, the colours are a little bit all over the place this year. So there was a few, there was, there was two colours released to begin with, the mint colour and the vanilla, which is a sort of yellow. Um, there's been another four added to the lineup, um, and they may vary a little bit throughout the season um, as to which actual materials available in the factories to produce the kites. So keep an eye on it, we may not necessarily be able to supply the exact colours on our website, um, but the good news is that the kites that have arrived are much better in the flesh than the images that Duotone initially released. Um, so this is the mint one which is green and the yellow one um, is called vanilla but it's much more of a bright yellow and looks significantly better than the the ones on the website. The price of the kites haven't changed significantly um, from 2021. Um, they're around about 15% higher than the standard Evo, um, which in comparison to some of the other kites on the market isn't actually that much more. So Duotone aren't the most expensive brand. If we were comparing a 12 meter Duotone Evo, which is just over 1400, or 1450 to the SLS, which is 1729. There's a lot of kite brands for a standard 12 meter, which sit in the 1550 to 1600 pound mark. Um, so for an extra sort of six, seven, eight percent, you're getting a far superior product um, with the latest technology um, and a company which is really environmentally friendly um, and sort of take great care um, in trying to get all of their products carbon neutral. So overall, the, the Evo SLS is a really good product for just about anybody, either getting into kite surfing or looking for something to push their riding a little bit more um, in strong winds, light winds, gusty conditions, clean conditions, on a twin tip, a surfboard, a hydrofoil. Um, it really is the one kite that does everything.